I am flattered and proud that Community Foundation of Acadiana has chosen me to be this year's Lafayette Leader in Philanthropy Award recipient. It has given me much pleasure through the years to see great numbers of people in our area beneficially affected by my involvement. When I moved to Lafayette in 1952, I found that there were no educational, residential, or training facilities for the mentally retarded. I was able to gather parents facing this problem, and we founded LARC, or the Lafayette Association for Retarded Children. I served five terms as president of the Lafayette Association and two terms as president of the State Association. I was able to found seven other ARC units across the state to build our needed political base. I was able to get a 10-year lease on five acres of airport property and with the help of the Lafayette Exchange Club and other civic clubs, founded the New Hope Center to educate and train mentally retarded teenagers. When the lease expired, we were blessed with a 30-acre donation of land from a friend of mine, Elias Aleman. On that land, we built an educational, training, and residential center that is recognized throughout America as a model to address the needs of the mentally retarded. Also on the Aleman property, we built the Acadian Village. The Oxner Foundation, a New Orleans-based but locally important medical facility, extended some truly amazing medical help to many persons here in Acadiana. Their medical expertise has had a great influence in our area. I have been very proud of my donations to the Oxner Foundation. Mm -hmm. I have served on the board of 232 Help, founded by my late wife, Jewel, for 45 years and have made serious contributions to that organization since its inception. I truly believe that the efforts of Community Foundation of Acadiana in recognizing those in our area who make serious contributions to those organizations which help people with serious needs is a commendable and valuable program. Best wishes to you all.